Crap's last tape tells the story of a man called Crap who every year on his birthday records a kind of diary or record of major events on a tape. And in the play, what we see is him choosing a tape from 30 years earlier and listening to and reflecting on the things that happened to him then and then seeing how he responds to that. So I guess it's a play about the sort of fulfillment or non-fulfillment of, of, of one's life. So I originally directed this production of Crap a year ago at Leeds Playhouse and was really keen to bring it to Glasgow to our audiences here. But I didn't want us just to be producing something that had already existed, that was in the repertoire. I felt that it was important as we come out of the pandemic to also support new voices and, and also new writing. So I wanted to commission something that would go alongside the Beckett play. And I thought of Linda immediately because of her interest in experimenting and her interest in form and structure. Beckett was the most sort of extraordinary experimental writer and was creating things that had never been seen before. So it felt important to me that we worked with a writer who was also trying to find new ways of saying things in, in theatre. Go On is about a character called Jane who is training an AI replacement of herself in order for her to basically leave the situation. She's, she's a, a, a mother and we learn during the play that she has a son who is in some kind of trauma, in some kind of pain and in the play she's teaching the other Jane basically how to be her replacement she teaches her about the things that are important to her in her life so that her son will be convinced and really believe that the replacement is actually his mother. I find Crap's Last Tape an extraordinary play. I think its simplicity is so powerful. I think the idea of looking back on your life and seeing the things that you've lost, the things that that you thought you would achieve and reflecting on whether you've achieved them or not is something that everybody can relate to. And I think Go On is no less universal in terms of what it's exploring. And I think it's extraordinary that Linda has sort of, in 20 minutes, I mean, it's, it's short, Go On, but in there she really talks about identity, particularly Glaswegian identity. It's very important for Jane in the play. But also it's much more than that in terms of it talks about how we deal with loved ones, how we deal with a sense of responsibility to the people around us and also to our past. So although it's a short play, there's a lot of themes and different kind of ideas, I think, for an audience to enjoy. And I really like that form. I really like the idea that actually in a short period of time you can convey something really powerful and theatrical. So I hope the audience will, particularly if they haven't been to the theatre for a long time, you know, enjoy the fact that they can come and see what might seem quite bite-sized pieces of theatre but that are no less profound for being quite short. Mm -hmm.